Good evening. You won't be able to do this indoors at a bar or restaurant after midnight tonight, and that has left a lot of local businesses scrambling to find solutions. This is a place where often people look at a cup half full or half empty. That's why we have optimism. Owner Gay Gilmore has reimagined brewing, ramping up takeout, delivery, and expanding outdoor spaces to make up for the loss of 16,000 square feet of room for business. Her neighbors down the street followed suit. When you don't have anything, you try to look to leverage the things that you do have. At one point, she even turned the beer hall into a co-working space for tech workers to maximize profits and keep paying employees. But these new changes are another hurdle. In fact, the Downtown Seattle Association says 140 street side businesses have closed in the past eight months, and their new survey of voters shows the economy topping public safety and encampment cleanup as a bigger concern. Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin told King 5 today the city is hoping a new state fund can blunt some of the impact on bars and restaurants. They have 50 million new dollars. We've asked that some of that money be transferred to the city of Seattle as a, so we can hand it out through the process we already have in place. We're looking at whether we can also help with some of the infrastructure for tenting and heaters and cut some of that red tape. We're not happy that this is happening, but we know it's the right thing. And we are totally willing to sacrifice our business, our livelihoods. Gilmore says buying local will help to keep hope alive. So in more ways than one, it's important to have optimism right now. <laughs> yes, it is. It absolutely is. Not everyone has the luxury that Optimism Brewing has with the outdoor space or the ability to close off roads, which in this particular case has allowed them to continue to pay employee health care. In Seattle on Capitol Hill, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.